what is up guys Andy G here I'm gonna be showing you how to make a YouTube outro and let me show you an example of what you're going to be making So after seeing that, this outro is obviously aimed at a gaming channel, but you can also use this knowledge to make an outro for a vlogging channel, you know, sketch channel, anything you want. So let's begin with Paint.net, which is my photo editing software. And the reason I'm using this is it's free for like practically any user, and it's rather easy to work with. Photoshop, GIMP, and more, I guess the others are optional and you can probably you know relate this to those softwares so let's begin with opening a new file make sure it's this exact dimensions width 1920 and height 1080 in pixels um i think most people know that but just in case you're a little new to this it's in pixels and control a and control x will make it transparent for you so now let's go get my background. I already have it preset for me. Now you don't have to use this background. You can actually make your own, but this is what I'm using because I actually really like how this background work looks, and I'm actually using it for my own outro. So resize it once you paste it in so it fits the entire template. You select. Now let's make a new layer. We are going to make the text now. So let's go to cooltext.com. I'm going to choose skate. I'm going to select my favorite font which is Comica Axis. I'm going to make it a grayish color. Make the shadow opacity. I'm going to make it around 90. I'm going to make the shadow offset. So I'm going to make, I'm going to make this 3 and this 3. Actually that. Yeah, that looks good. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my channel name. Now, I'm just, as an example, I'm going to do channel. That's pretty much all I'm going to do. This channel name. And I'm going to paste it in on my new layer. Make sure to make a new layer every time you paste something in. It really helps. And that seems like an appropriate size. Maybe just a tad bit smaller. And put it at the top center. Well, actually, that's what I'm doing. But you can put it anywhere you want. But I'm putting it at the top center. So now let's make another new layer, and we're going to go to the shape tool down here, and we are going to make your squares, which your videos are going to be put into. Now try to make them a reasonable size, like this, because I don't really think it looks good when you have, you know, squares that are shaped like this, because a video can't possibly play. So make this is a good size right here, like a rectangle. And you're going to copy and paste it and move it over so they look about even. And also make sure the distance from here to here is just about the same. Make sure that's the same height too. Alright, all you're going to do now is you're going to use your fuzzy select tool. Click both of them while holding on control. And do press control X while selecting the background layer. After you've done that, let's go get our let's make another new layer. Make sure it's above the others. Then we're going to make our subscribe button. Now make sure it has a transparent background, it helps a lot. You're gonna copy it. And we're gonna paste it on. Move it down to the bottom there. Make a tad bit smaller. Move it to the center. So there's your subscribe button. Now, if you want to actually just put another social media thing there, so let me actually go look up Twitter as an app logo. So let's just take this, copy it, paste it in, 
And what you can actually do is you can make like a tiny, tiny, tiny Twitter logo on the side here. You can also put Facebook or whatever. I'm going to do two Twitter logos. Actually, no. Let me get a Facebook logo. Let's copy it. Um, oh geez, this is bigger than I imagined it. Make sure the Twitter logo and the Facebook logo are the same size, just so it looks good. And there we go. I think the Facebook logo is slightly bigger. There we go. Both sides, Facebook, Twitter logo. I know they're not perfectly equal. Even. All right, that that's definitely good. So there we have our actual template right there. Now let's just add one little quick detail: a metal texture. Let's copy it, make another new layer, paste it. Oh, why did I copy the Facebook one again? Paste it on top. Now go to opacity. And make sure this is on the top layer, by the way. Put it to glow, and I recommend making it around 70. So this is my final backdrop. So I'm going to go File, Save As. Now you save two. Save one as PDN first, by the way. Save one as PDN, so... um. I'm not going to do that, but make sure to save one as PDN and save another one as PNG. And I'm going to save it as tutorial3.png. Okay. Flatten. Now, when it, you flatten it, you can't edit it again. So that's why I want you to save it as a PND first or the PDN. All right. So now let's go open up our video editing software. Alright, so I opened up my video editing software, and this is a Roxio Video Wave, and this comes with the Roxio Game Capture. You can get it for about $60, and this also helps you record um, Xbox videos too. I'm not sponsoring them, by the way. And um, yeah, let's add in our outro picture. Now, I just want to inform you that the overlay function, it does not work for Windows Movie Maker. So when you do um, want to overlay something, I just, you know, Windows Movie Maker is not going to cut it. It doesn't have the overlay function that we're going to be using. So now we're going to add our background music. Now you can download it off the internet, some cost money, or you can download it off YouTube, look up the tutorial for that. And we are going to use, well, I'm going to use Vanoss's outro thought songs. I actually really like how this song goes. Now, I know how the song goes, so I think about, like, the first 10, 15 seconds I'm going to cut out the song. Alright. So, I'm going to make sure the song's about 30 seconds long. Alright, so now we are going to add in our overlay video. Now, I'd just like to tell you that, once again... Movie Maker will not apply for this, and I'm gonna make this like a lot the image only because that the overlay video could be like 20 minutes. So insert as overlay, and I do apologize. My dog is really annoying at everything. So let me resize this. So I've resized it. Make sure the video is muted, by the way. And now let's, the, let's find the correct position. Now I want to find the spot of me actually fighting the wither where there's action. Okay, here we are. Alright, so let's cut out the beginning. 
Let's move it over. Let's go over to the song. And let's cut out the, uh, the part of the ending. Now you're going to do this two times. I'm going to fast forward. I will have the second video already up. And let's fast forward. Alright, so after you add your second overlay, basically what you're going to do now is you are going to make sure everything lines up perfectly. Now, I believe I did some stuff with my music, so it's like one second off from like the ending. But the overlay videos, make sure those match up because that's absolutely important. And I made sure, I double checked, and also make sure the overlay videos are muted. You can check that. And that's pretty much it. This is what your outro video should look like if you did everything correctly. I think was absolutely beautiful and I would like to actually see your results from this tutorial um, you can send them to me by any means necessary you can upload it to like YouTube and just you know send it to me through like a PM which stands for private message by the way um, or you can just you know send me a link to one of your videos which you do use it I'll probably subscribe to your channel as well and that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching